Why are we so excited for these videos? Because it's so I silly. I love these. After all these years, you still find absolute tat to the cloche. How confident are you that he's going to like one of these four? He's going to have a great time, 100%. He might hate all of them, though. OK, Ebbers, lift the cloche on number four. This has got your name written all over it. No, my name's Ben. This says Bruno. <laughs> However, whatever it is, it needs plugging in. Oh, it's got an on and off button. It's got a plug on it with a heat source with something that sits in it. To me, it looks like a little egg cooker. Wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> what? what? <laughs> this is the Bruno lunchbox, complete with warmer. Don't want to line up using the microwave at lunchtime? Want to keep food fresh and warm all the time? Well, the Bruno lunchbox warmer is the lunchbox for you, Evers. So, I get it, I get it. So, leftovers from the night before get stashed in here. The whole thing goes into the fridge until you need it at your desk, plug and play, off you go. Here's a phrase I never thought I'd say. I don't want to excite you further, but it comes complete with tote bag. <laughs> So in there are your plug, your instructions, you can read through it. Um, so conceptually, do you think this is a good idea? Yes. As somebody who lives alone, cooking for one is tricky. So, so many recipes, many of our own, are for two people as a minimum, and therefore it is quite handy to have somewhere to put your leftovers. If it's not Tupperware in the freezer for another night, it could be a Bruno box for lunch the next day. <laughs> oh, oh, I can imagine him eating his dinner at night. Yeah. And you know, like, you portion it up out of the saucepan, you'd go, one for me and one for Bruno, <laughs> one for me and one for Bruno. I can't wait like, to stuff Bruno full of this later. <laughs> what? Okay. This stays at work permanently in your Jump. drawer. Plug it in. And it's ready to go, probably, I'm going to guess, a good 20 minutes before you want lunch. 30. Ooh. Ebers, would you like to know what you've got left over? Yes, please. A paella! Oh, that's high risk. What, how long's that been in there? <laughs> <laughs> so it's come out. Yep. Lid off. Lid off. Into Bruno. Lid on. On. That will heat to a supposedly food safe 75 degrees Celsius in half an hour, which we'll come back to and then we'll see whether or not you get Compilobacto in the morning. Let's play a game. Go on. Love or hate? He'll love the idea, hate execution. Great. Okay, let's see. Oh my oh, word. I know. I know. Oh my word. <laughs> Basically, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve containers uh -huh. that dispense quarter of a teaspoon at a time of whatever ingredient you want a quarter of a teaspoon of that you want to put in your container. Ben, this is the Kitchen Art Selector Spice Auto Measure Pro Carousel. In need of easy storage for your spices, the Selector Spice Auto Measure Carousel Professional Series provides a unique way to store and sort your cooking spices. Yeah, okay, well I kind of get it because I've seen a number of spice racks on the market. I have one at home, which I don't use because it's really fiddly. I didn't ever think I'd say this. Um, to address the hole in the bottom, um, <laughs> that is for you to be able to mount it underneath cabinets. So the top bit, you can screw off and replace it with that thing you've lost in the bottom. I see. Right. Yeah. Yep. And, and then it attaches and yep. then... Mm. That makes more sense because although the dispensing here, I'm literally going to have to put like a teaspoon underneath it in order to dispense it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but let's give it a try. There is something super satisfying about getting your apothecary of spices in order. What are you going to go for? Now I see the flaw in this bit of kit. Go on. Well, I think what I want is two quarter teaspoons of that, one of that, two of that, and one of that. Interesting. Oh, I was half expecting a nice spice blend on the counter. Yeah, no, that's not yeah. how it works. <laughs> if, you, if you could knock up a spice blend, sort of with, with Far Eastern, yeah. Notes. Hints. Yeah. So you're going to have to remove it from um, its spaceship. Big from the top, flip reverse it, 
you can go for a sprinkle. I'm gonna try and dispense a quarter teaspoon of this. Okay. Oh. Another quarter teaspoon of this. Another quarter teaspoon of this. It's quite satisfying. Yeah, it is, actually. Another quarter teaspoon of this. I wanted one teaspoon, which is lucky. <laughs> if I'd wanted a tablespoon, it would be 12 twists. Yeah, but that's what the big flaps yeah. for on the top. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Sprinkle it on, Eppers. No, no, you okay. Are okay. Being yeah. Sugar and spice and all things nice. A little sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Which is about, about a teaspoon by eye to be blended with about a tablespoon by eye of salt. Oh, my heart hurt. He hates it. I love him. I get it. I just feel like it's a lot of effort to go to to decant the containers they already come in, which have both a kind of pour and a sprinkle option, mm -hmm. and you don't get anything more from having decanted it, other than the organisation of space saving. How can it not be fun? It's called a carousel. <laughs> not terrible, not for me. Evers, how much do you reckon we paid for this on Amazon? If they stacked on top of each other. Mm, I think they do, they are stackable. Oh, so you could get two and have 24 yeah, yeah. spices? Yeah. Ooh, now we're talking. <laughs> um, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this fetches £22. £40. Okay, quite a lot. <laughs> it's an over-engineered spice rack that still needs a bit more engineering. Two and a half stars. Okay, it has been 30 minutes. You get straight in the probe. We ought to check. So 75 is, I think, what the UK considered to be safe and out of the danger zone. But we're at 82 degrees there. Reheating time for different food ingredients could vary. Please ensure the food is properly heated up before use. The heater doesn't turn off automatically after 30 minutes, so there is a potential that you could overheat your food. Uh, it also works. You know, it heats from the bottom. You might want to mix the food halfway through to give a more even kind of temperature, as you would, I would say, if you're doing something in a microwave. That's kind of standard practice for reheating something. Okay, Ebers, let's talk price. You clearly love it. You love everything about it. How much would you pay for it? It's a difficult one because it's a very simple concept, but I think it's actually like it clips together. It fits well. It feels sturdy. Wouldn't be unreasonable at £26. Would it be reasonable at double the price or just over at £53.80? That is a lot more than I was expecting. But I would still say people spend a lot of money on lunchboxes. Sebas, so, if you were to write an online review and give this a star rating out of five, what would that review be? Leave your peers in the past and have lunch with Bruno instead. Four stars. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> Ebers, we're building up or down to our favourite. This is number two. Lift the cloche. Another powered device. And blades everywhere. So <laughs> loose. Yeah, that'll get rid of your <laughs> scaly elbows. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's good for scrubbing your root veg. Uh, this is a peeler plunger brush funnel dual blade. You should work for their marketing department. Attachment device battery operated thing with charger. Ebers, you're correct. This is the four in one food chopper. It chops, slices, peels and cleans. You can feed long veg into the machine and chop directly over your dish. Also comes with a handy peeler. Straight into your dish. Sebas, how does it feel? Is it top quality? It feels a bit rickety. And I feel like at any point it might catch you out. So Ebers, we would like you to knock us up an omelette using some of the ingredients in front of you. Now, it specifically notes in the manual that it chops through ginger and prawns. So, best give those a go. But also, by golly, what? Earlier on, you knocked up a spice blend. Oh my. We provided a pestle and mortar because yes, this is not a spice grinder. It's almost Look like this room. video was planned. I'll have a good no. pestle. Don't look me in the eye, would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ebers. Ebers, Ebers, sit back down. Omelet pan. Oh, sit. you want an omelet pan? <laughs> well, why don't you use the brush feature to see if you can wash it up? Oh, it's not. No, this yes. is no. This is for root vegetables. No, it's, it's for cleaning. washing up. It it's got cleaning. a cleaning function. He looks defeated already. I know, I love it. Look how well that's working, Ebers. You've got some on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 
Yeah, clean. Sparkly. This is dumb, everyone. <laughs> I'm sure you could scrub a vegetable in it. It's just, you know, I've never used an electric scrubber. Well, what I'm hearing from you is that, Ebers, this is in fact a five-in-one food chopping <laughs> device. <laughs> and the brush is for pans and veg. <laughs> so, Ebers is currently using the peeler. How's it peeling? Do you know what? It's peeling. Great. Wow. <laughs> that is effective. <laughs> no, no too hard. A little bit lighter. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm getting coconut shaver vibes all know, over I'm again. I'm so nervous for you. <laughs> Maybe it only works upside down, it was. <laughs> oh, there you oh, go. Oh, he's making it rain carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic, a little bit of ginger. Excellent. Yeah, let's give it, let's give the machine a chance. Let's put some onion in there as well. Oh. I've got high hopes for this one. And they were thrashed, all of those hopes in one. You know what I said about rickety? Yeah. yeah. I think what I meant was crap. <laughs> oh! There you go. I'm going to season it with a little bit of Ooh, soy. soy. Says me off the pan. Got some of these lovely mushrooms. Ready? Ready. It sounds awful, doesn't it? Oh. And that's all you get. A nuance of frankfurter. Look at that. And in all that excitement with the frankfurter, I've overcooked my omelette. <laughs> Anyone want an overcooked omelette? I apologise to anyone who's ever, ever made a omelette in their lives, because that's not how it should be done. Well, that was enjoyable. This is not one I'll be putting in my lunchbox. Mm, how's your spice blend? Mm. The flavour's all right. I'm not sure carrot, frankfurter and prawn would be my first choice. <laughs> so while you... Uh chow down on that delicious omelette. Um, what are your thoughts? We use quite a lot of food processors, mini choppers and things to speed up the making of pastes and stuff like that. I get it. But I would also say in the 12 years we've been doing this, learn to use a knife and a board and it'll probably be quicker and easier. That is not quicker or easier. Should we talk price? Mm. <laughs> yeah, go on then. How much do you think that gadget there sells for on how do I buy this? Four in one, five dollars per one, twenty dollars, which at the moment we know is about twenty pounds. Generous. Because I can confirm that this is for sale at thirty-two pounds. Well, we're going to need to have an online review yeah, from our chef, aren't we? Please review this and give us some stars. Please mind your fingers because you'll need them to chop stuff when this doesn't. One star. Oh, Evan, he's on a roll. That's he got brilliant. a star. Coming in at number one. Evan's lift the class. I feel like you've already made up my mind for me by calling it number one. This one's time dependent as well. It's a cold freezer plate. Pan and ice. I Heard know these guys. Why? Because I met the founders years ago at an event. Yes, Ben. <laughs> This is the pan and ice starter pack from the Ice Roll Company. This pack is a must have for every family home. The amazing kit comes with everything you need to make ice cream rolls from the comfort of your own home. I see ice cream rolls everywhere at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. these guys at a festival and the queue was massive yeah. for it. And I, I remember the story in speaking to Henry, it was something he saw in Southeast Asia when mm. he was on like a gap year or traveling mm. or just maybe just a holiday, came back and was like, why don't we have this in UK? and wanted to set it up. Yeah, a family version, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what it looks like. Yeah, it comes with a mix. So this is the most basic pack that they do, but they also do loads of packs on their website where they basically just cane it with loads of other ingredients. So the way I've seen it done before, they have the mix and then they chop stuff into it, right? Mm -hmm. So the first one we're making is beautiful Biscoff. We'll need one Biscoff biscuit and one tablespoon of Biscoff spread and then pour over 75 ml of the pan ice mix. And then choppy chop, right? Yeah. Choppy, choppy, choppy chop. The way. Even we spread the combined mix across the pan, once the mix looks dry and frozen, start at one end and use the spatula to carefully roll forward into ice cream rolls. 
Perfect, just just like the street food. Go on, Abbas. Yes, yeah, better, there we better, go. better. There we go, this there we go. This was so stiffer. You found your side job. Number one, I've seen it before. I've never had one, because the queue's always huge and I've never bothered to queue. But people seem to love it. Two, I've never seen one you can do at home. Three, it was good fun. Ebbers. So let's go again. I'm going strawberry. We can do five in a row here. So, mm. oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Ebbers, what are you going for now? Strawberry and white chocolate. Oh, Barry's lost interest, so I'm going to take over here, Ebbers. <laughs> Basically, you stick that in the freezer for 24 hours. It then completely freezes and you get about five uses out of it. There is a recipe booklet, I guess digitally, online, which does everything from froyos to these ice cream rolls. Um, they do provide a vegan mix as well, so that everyone's included. Yeah, they, they also do frozen cocktails. Look at that, you've got a lovely little arctic roll there. Yeah, it's like a pavlova. How does it compare to other like quick ice creams that we made? It's not as smooth and it's mm -hmm. not like a gelato in the sense that you have got crunchy like ice crystals because you're not getting it super smooth and you're rolling it. But it's tasty and it's good fun. And the fact that we got it to not just set but also roll on our first attempt as well as the second going a bit off piste, I think it opens up lots of opportunity for experimentation. How much do you think we paid for this kit? Hmm. All I can do is compare it to an ice cream machine that you'd also have to freeze. And the co-founder knows you, so could easily find you and, you know, pop something through your yeah. letterbox. <laughs> so I've got no idea. 48. Oh, £50.99. Me and my family of 12 years are on a roll with this one. We love it. Four and a half stars. Oh, four and a half! Oh. That's exactly the same as our Trust Pilot review for Sidekick. <laughs> For us, that's an impressive round of gadge. I can't believe that people keep suggesting more amazing things for us to try. Thank you very much. Please continue to do that. And also, list these gadgets in order of your favourites, four to one. Let us know down below. And this is the last chance for you to win £120 of groceries on us, completely free. Just sign up for a free trial of our Sidekick app and you'll be automatically entered. And on top of that, you've got 30 days to decide whether it's for you or not. We genuinely think it will change your life, but we are biased. T's and C's can be found in the description box below. Good luck!